A job is like this. Go in this closet. I'll give you a crossword puzzle. Give me your phone. That too. You won't be needing that. Can I think thoughts about things other than the crossword puzzle you gave me? Absolutely not. There's a big difference between a job and work. Some people think that money is just a representation of time. And a job is you selling your time in exchange for money. You spend 70% of your days and 85 to 90% of your waking hours on your job, including drive time and job preparation. That means if you live to be 100, you sell on the low end 85 years and keep 15 for yourself and your family. So when you go to a job interview, you're essentially auctioning your life to the highest bidder. There has to be another way. This is not how life was designed to be. It should be completely mind-blowing to us that when people have off from their job, they go hunting, or work on their house, or spend time with their kids. Some of my friends work on their garden all weekend. They say they could do it all the time. They freaking love working in their yards! And nowadays, many people are critical of those who are not focused on their job. They're criticized for needing more time at home. Well, at one time, that was the work. Of course people intrinsically enjoy those things we mentioned. That's what we evolved to do. We worked the land, we produced our food, we stored our food. We took our children into the fields with us and taught them our craft. We worked on improving our house. We took time to design and decorate our houses to our custom liking. Maybe you had a hobby of woodcraft, for example. Well, in your spare time, you might carve something out of wood and sell or trade. Some guy down the road was good at making jerky, so you traded with him. Now these activities that used to be work are considered vacation. Gardening, hunting, hiking, spending time with your kids, teaching your kids. But at one time, that was the work. The things we do on our off days now used to be the joy of life's work. But we became greedy and obsessed with efficiency and the illusion that the human race progresses. It wasn't enough to have eight lamps in our house. Our house got bigger, so we wanted 36 lamps. How will I afford all that oil in the lamps? Instead of making one or two wood carvings a day, I'll make 10. Then I'll have more to trade with. Then maybe I'll make a machine that produces 50 of these wood carvings a day. Or maybe instead of harvesting crop from a five acre plot of land, let's get 30 acres of farmland and get people to work it for us. What's that? Fix my stairs? I don't have time to do that. I'll pay someone else. Now, because we've become obsessed with expanding and progressing and becoming more and more efficient, everyone's paid to do one thing. The same thing every day. Hey, you there. Pick grain in the field. That's your job. Do that all day every day, Monday to Friday, and be happy. You there. Your job is a cashier. Count money all day at the cash register. Do that and be happy. For many years, I painted houses. I once paid some guy to paint a couple rooms in my house because I was too busy painting other people's houses. I have a friend who works as a nanny for a couple rich people in DC. These people made two children. Presumably they love their children and want nothing more than to spend time with their children. So they pay my friend to go to their house for 10 hours a day so that they can afford to go to work, pay a nanny, and come home and spend an hour with their kids before bed. What the hell kind of world have we created? What's that? You don't like scanning a barcode all day, every day? You're lazy. Susan complains, therefore Susan is lazy. Tom wants to be home today, therefore Tom's lazy. Bob's depressed, so Bob must be weak. Nowadays, we say it's wrong to have an interest in many things. What? You want to be good at multiple things? You want to learn about carpentry, gardening, medicine, nutrition, running, reading, writing, teaching, fishing. Well, you have a learning disability, Jonathan. You've got ADD. Just do the same thing all day, every day, like the rest of us, and be happy. What? You're still not happy? Maybe you need mindfulness training. Be mindful. Let me connect you with a guru I know. Just make sure you hide your wife from him. You're off on the weekends, but when you subtract sleep and personal hygiene, that really only gives you about 10 or 12 hours a day. And so, Saturday morning, the clock starts. You have so little time that you can't even enjoy your time. Do you find it hard to enjoy watching a movie or relaxing because you know there's something else you need to do? You only have a small amount of time before Sunday night when you need to get ready for work again for Monday. You can't possibly enjoy what you're doing. You have so little time. What? You're depressed again? You've forgotten your mindfulness training. Learn to enjoy the walk without thinking of other things. If you can't do that, you may have a psychological problem. 
I can already hear it now. You think people are lazy because they don't want to do the equivalent of scanning a barcode all day, every day. In my experience, there's a big difference between a job and work, and most people like to work. Why do people choose to run marathons when they're off from their job? I ran three marathons a week every week for years on my time off. I like effort and things that are hard. And you might say, well, not everyone has to scan a barcode. Just pick a different job. But that misses the point, which is that people are understandably unhappy. Because we've departed so much from human nature. Just because ever since the Emancipation Proclamation, we've given people the ability to choose their master, and go from job to job or one master to another doesn't make them any less slaves. They're just slaves who are treated much, much better. The point is to think about just how much we've departed from human nature and the psychological issues that could arise from the separation of work and job. Please interface with me on this. I made this video because I have no one to talk to about these sorts of things. And I'm interested to know what other people think.